Let's do this. So this is a real exciting day here. So this is, I got even a little more pep, right? A little more livelihood in my step here. Because uh, it's exciting because um, this is how I got started in the business, was pitching these Kirby's door to door. I sold quite a few of them. Um, so that's what we're going to talk about today here at the vacuum house is the Kirby vacuum. And as always, disclaimer, we do not know manufacturer gives us any product at all. These are our opinions and these are based on how well is it clean, how long is it going to last, how easy is it to use, what's the filtration like. We're going to tell you the features and benefits of the machine and we are not paid and we do not get the machines for free. I actually had to go buy this Kirby, okay, so I can do this here today for you. So let's get started. The Kirby is more than a vacuum and that's how they're sold. So if you want a complete cleaning system, you know, something that is both an upright as well as you can convert it to a canister, um, you want to be able to shampoo the carpets, that kind of thing, you, this does it all, okay? So that's the thing about the Kirby and they do hold up very well, so we'll hook you up. But let's talk about what the Kirby can do. It's got a nice long cord, cord wrap, just unwrap the cord here and the cord comes down for you so you don't have to sit there and unwrap the whole thing. Let's plug it in. Okay, let's do this first. We'll turn, here's the on off switch right in the back. Now underneath that off switch is a neutral and a dry. Okay, as mentioned, the Kirby's are heavy. They're heavy duty. They're, 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 they're metal machi machine, they're, they're heavy duty and um, they're designed to last a long time. So it does make them a little bit heavier. So underneath here, that neutral and drive, the machine glides nice and easy on, on its wheels. But when it comes time to lower that head and it, it may form a little bit of a seal on the carpet or attach itself to the carpet. So you can actually put it in drive and the, the machine comes self. So again, neutral. Right. Okay. And the, there's eight height adjustments on the side of this, on the side here. So you can lower it like this. You can raise it like this. Show it to me again. Okay. So lower it down, raise it up, depending on the pile of the carpet. Okay. So the way to determine if you're at the right height is just lower it down one at a time. Do, take your time, lower it down one at a time, and you're going to hear a change of pitch. With the machine and when you hear that change of pitch you're at the right height you can go one more you know some people no matter what you tell them they're going to lower that head all the way down they think they're doing a better job because they got it all the way down uh, as low as it can go and they want to see that v-shaped pattern in the rug and i understand but that doesn't make necessarily mean it's cleaning better actually there's an argument to be made that it's actually not cleaning as good if you get it down to the point where it's sucking the carpet right up into the machine that's sealed suction and there's no airflow Okay, so the idea, and again, there's, there's different arguments, but that's, that's the argument to be made that you want to leave it before it lifts the carpet up. You want to get it right there so it's just kind of skimming the surface. So there is some airflow, so you're sweeping that brush and sweeping the dirt into the suction pad. So anyway, let's, let's give it a whirl. So um, I'll be quiet because I'm going to turn the machine on. We're going to turn it on and then listen for the change of pitch. We'll turn it on here. <laughs> It's almost effortless. It just kind of, kind of moves. And you know what's nice about the self-propelled? It's not like herky-jerky like some of these other self-propelled machines. When you push the handle forward, it kind of takes off. When you pull it back, it bounces back at you. Some of the self-propelled are actually, um, they're, they're more difficult to use than if they're not self-propelled because it's such, a, it's such a jerky motion. This one is not, okay? So that's your upright. That's what you're going to use, you know, 90% of the time. 90, 90%, 95% of the time. Again, 90% of the time, you're gonna use the machine as an upright, like you see right here, but let's move on to something else. So if I wanna use attachments, I can take the belt off, and then I can get my get the hose, and I can pop that on the front. I'm getting old now. I'll try not to. You know how I can tell? How's that? I can't demo the Kirby like I used to. <laughs> it's used just to a very able, active I, machine. I used to make this look real easy. I'd be moving around, and um, but... We don't, we don't move quite as I, it was no problem for me to bend down, get down to the machine. Anyway, we're going to put the hose on the machine. We're going to take this and the same thing. We're going to tilt this back. 
And now we've got the hose and a whole slew of attachments so we can use it um, as a canister back. And you can use it just like this in the upright position. What you would do is just, you'd leave it in neutral obviously. So you can, you can wheel the machine around like this and you've got a whole bag full of attachments. By the way, Kirby changed, they don't have that big caddy anymore. They, everything comes in this little bag. So you've got your upholstery tool. Okay, the upholstery tool here. You want to vacuum the furniture. That may be the curtains, something like that. You can, you, you can use that. You've got uh, your crevice tool, obviously, your basic attachment, your crevice tool. This is kind of cool. It's got a little brush on the end. So if you have a hard to get area or some stuff that might be, you know, caked on or something, you can, you can scrape it off, which is kind of, you can also pop that. You used to be able to, let me see. Yep, you can pop that off too. So if you do want to get in there without the brush, you can, but that's, that's kind of a neat little thing to have that brush on there. So oh, yeah. um, let's see what else we got here. We got a, a couple of wands. So if you want, you got extension wands. So they, and they kind of got a little, um, the uh, friction fit there, so that'll stay together. Is uh, they won't fall apart on you. So and you can, if you want to get up high, you want to get the, the the cobwebs off the ceiling or anything, you can. You've got um, nice soft dust brush, nice horsehair soft dust brush. Okay, every Kirby comes equipped with an extra belt. Okay, so a year from now when that belt's stretched, you've got another belt in your kit. Um, your local back shop will always have the belts on hand too. If, if we sell a rebuilt Kirby or um, we always offer some sort of free tune-up plan with everything we sell, we want to be your back shop. So you, we, we'd have you come back maybe once a year, once every couple of years and give the machine a, a, a going over and a, and a free belt and bag and that kind of thing. So a couple of wands, you got your dust brush. And you've got, this is a spray gun. Now, I'm not going to get into too much detail with this. We're probably not going to demo this today. Unless maybe, Dom, you think it's, you want to see how it works. I'm very curious. This is a foamer. This actually, this machine, the, the Kirby's a shampoo machine as well. And it, it, that's in this box right here, the shampoo system. Um, but this is actually a foamer. So if you want to actually clean, clean your furniture, your fabric, furniture, that kind of thing, you can, it, this will create foam and you can do the furniture. Maybe I will demonstrate that. Let's see how it goes. Let's see if time allows. All right. Um, let's see. This is an inflator deflator, believe it or not. So if you want to blow up a kid's toy or something like that, you can. Because you can actually use the Kirby as a blower as well, and I'll, I'll demonstrate that in a minute. You've so can got, you use it to like fill up like bike tires and everything like that? Uh, not bike tires, no. no oh. I think so. Just like uh, maybe air mattresses. Balloons. You know, pool toys, that kind of thing. Balloon okay. chip, okay. Um, extra handle here. Does come with a, a bare floor tool as well, so. And you can use that on area rugs, I guess, too. If you didn't want to use the, the, the brush, you could actually use this right here like this. You know what I should do right now? I should show you this. This is pretty cool. So, again, most of the time you're going to do this. But there are some people, like I say, you, you, a lot of times the relationship with Kirby is your lover, lover or hater. The people who love them use all the attachments. They use it for everything. You know, when they start cleaning, they clean the whole house. So they have it for a very long time, 20, 30, 40 years, but they're also using it uh, for, for multiple tasks in the house, okay? So if I'm done, if, in, my, in my home here, um, we don't have a lot of carpet. So maybe that is not super important, that power head right there, but I could actually break this down even more, okay? And turn this into like a little, a little, uh, little portable machine and this is kind of one of the another reason we like Kirby's is because you can if you if you get used to this and that's the problem most people don't take the time to actually get used to using the attachments the way they're the way they're supposed to be used but those who do they're very loyal to their Kirby they're very um they love their Kirby they wouldn't get rid of it for anything so we can take this little handle we can pop it here okay and then now we have a nice little powerful canister vacuum. Okay, so we have, the, we have the, the upright, the good solid upright for the carpets, for bare floors, that kind of thing. But if you're the type of person that wants to use the machine as a complete cleaning tool, um, you can carry this around and, and do your above floor, your furniture, your stairs, that kind of thing. So um, you could actually just drag it behind you like a, like a canister vacuum.
Okay, so most people don't think of a curvy this way, but there are a lot of folks who end up getting rid of carpets or whatever, taking the head off, and they're using this as a, can as a good, strong canister vacuum, and they have it in their house for, you know, 30, 40 years, taking it out, cleaning the car, that kind of thing. So you, go, you have the bare floor tool right here. Again, turn it on. Plenty of power. You got all your attachments you can put on there. You got your, you want, if you want to use it right here, you can use it in your hand. You've got your dust brush. So if I want to go around and dust the coffee table, end table, that kind of thing. I got a dust brush. I'm able to do that. Now, if you want to use the, the machine on the, on the exhaust end, um, let's say you didn't want to use it as an inflator or deflator, or maybe you didn't want to use the furniture tool uh, or the, the upholstery cleaner, you can take, let me show you how to do it. You can take this off like this. And what we're going to do is, um, so there's, there, this is what they call the power plant. This is what Kirby refers to as the power plant right here. So it's, it's a number of different tools in one, but everything is, this is why they last so long. I mean, it is a good solid machine that's gonna hold up. This power plant lasts forever, okay? But everything, it, the power plant remains the same, and then, then you have, you, you can make a canister out of it, you can make an upright out of it, you can make a shampoo out of it, you can do every, you can make everything out of that one little strong power plant. Um, so we're going to take the hose and we're going to put it on the exhaust of the machine. Now the Kirby has a couple safety features on it, okay? So that you can't turn it on unless the fan's covered, unless the, unless the blower port is covered. So, no, you know, so nobody gets hurt with the machine. Because you can see fans right here. Uh, it, what they, I think they call it a direct drive machine where the machine, the dirt comes in, hits the fan, then gets blown over to the side. It doesn't go through the motor. It blows over to the side into the bag, okay, over here. So in order, to, you, like right now, I can't turn it on. It, it will not allow me to turn it on because there's nothing covering the front and there's nothing covering the back. So let's cover the back with the hose. There's a switch in there. So what I got to do is I got to trigger that switch by pushing this in there like that. So it clicks, it clicks in. And then we're gonna, so the, now we got something on the back, but, and it, but it still won't start unless we have something covering the front, okay? So I'm gonna pop this on here. So now we can use the hose as a blower if we wanna blow up some of the pool toys, um, air mattress. If you, let's say you wanna blow up like the computer keys or something like that. Sometimes the vacuum won't get it, or maybe you're, in, you're out cleaning out the car and you can't get in between the seats so you gotta blow some of that dirt around, you can... You can... <laughs> You might want to put the crevice tool on there because that'll narrow the space and that'll actually give you a little more airflow. Okay? Yeah. Uh, uh. Want to blow dry your hair? There you go. You got it with the Kirby, all right? So let's, I guess, let's do this. It's going to take a second, but it might be worth it just to see how this foams up. I'm sure I'm doing the measurements wrong, but let's just, just for the sake of showing you how it works. I'll put a little bit in here. And because I know how to do it. And because I know a lot of people don't get full use out of their Kirby, I'm gonna show you how, it's always better if you have warm water too, by the way, if you're trying to make suds. See, there's a couple different types of shampoo systems when it comes to the carpet and the carpet and the upholstery, okay? Um, there's, Hot water extraction, which is what most people think of. There, you've got a portable machine, or you have the guy with the truck mount come in, shoots hot water into the carpet, and then pulls it out, which is great. It's probably the most effective way, and it's recommended by carpet manufacturers, but there's always a risk of overwetting, and there's, there's a risk of operator error when you're doing that kind of cleaning. When, when you're doing dry foam, which is what this is, dry foam, now it, it takes a little bit of moisture, it takes a little bit of water to make it, but what, when, it com, when, it, when it's used, it comes out as a foam. So it'll never, you'll never have to worry about overwetting the carpet or overwetting the furniture because it does come out in the foam. So as far as a DIY, do-it-yourself type of shampoo system, I think this is a great idea. 
We're big on the dry foam in our, we actually sell bottles of dry foam detergents, shampoos that you spray on the carpet and you do it manually. So the Kirby is just another form of that dry foam. So we step on this here. This screen is what makes the foam. So you have to have the screen on the front. There you go. So what you're gonna do, make fun with the foam down. So what you're gonna do is take that foam, put it on your upholstery or even your carpet, if you have a stain or something, put maybe put some stain remover and the foam down and you're just gonna scrub that in. Okay, again, that will just dissipate. That'll be gone. It, um, there'll be no residue. There'll be, it'll dry to a crystal or a powder and then you vacuum it up. That's how the shampoo system works, okay? Um, and what, it's called what they call encapsulation foam, encapsulation cleaning. The idea is there's two different kinds of dirt. There's sand, there's grit, there's hair. That's um, granular dirt, okay? That's the stuff that's in a vacuum bag. The stuff that's not in the vacuum bag is the stuck under, okay, which is uh, cooking grease, oils from our skin. Um, dog, cat walk outside, they come in, they get the pet paws on the carpet, right? They're dirty. So you have to do something to separate those soils from the fiber. You can't do it with a vacuum because they're stuck on, right? So the idea behind this is it's going to dehydrate those soils, separate them from the fibers, and then you can pick it up later. So you actually, you, you put the foam on the carpet, you brush it in, a couple hours later, you vacuum up the powder. And the idea, again, would be dehydrate the soils, turn it into a crystal or a powder. It'll separate from the fibers, fall into the carpet, and then you vacuum it up. And it is, it sounds like, sounds like snake oil, but it's, you know, it, it really does work. I mean, it, it is an effective way to clean your carpets without hurting the carpet. So let me take a second to show you how to put that shampoo on. So anyway, the on off switch hasn't changed. We're gonna lower this down. Now, in this case, you do it the lower the better, probably, because we're not looking for suction so much on this machine as we are. We're looking to groom that carpet. We're looking to lift the nap of the carpet. We're looking to lay down the foam and then scrub that foam. So we do really want to put it as low as we can. We're gonna turn it on here. Now, here's your on off switch. Here's your on off for the, for the, um, for the foam, okay? So that's off. I'm gonna move it to carpet here, okay? Okay, I should tell you what I'm doing here, okay? So you, if you have stains or particular spots, this is very mild, this is not gonna, um, it's not a great stain remover. It's designed to freshen the carpet up, brighten the carpet up, that kind of thing, again, um, attach itself to the, soil, to the soils of the carpet and turn them into a crystal of power. So if you do have some heavy stains, you probably want to pre-treat the carpet first before you do this with your stain remover and a brush or something like that or blot it up, get the stains out first. But you see, I'm going to do a nice wide pass. And then once, I'm, once I have those nice wide pass down, I'm going to do like maybe four by four area, five by five area. I'm going to turn the foam off and I'm going to go, and what's happening is the brush is scrubbing it in. So I'm going to turn the foam off and I'm just going to go over it and scrub the carpet with just the brush, okay?
so that'll dry within, I didn't use a whole lot of foam. And no, more, no, no water except for the foam that's in the carpet. So 15 minutes, half hour, that kind of thing. And there's, it's not shooting any water to the back of the carpet. You don't have to worry about the carpet drying. It's gonna dry uh, real quick. It's gonna crystallize uh, again, encapsulate the soils, turn it into a crystal or a powder that you can vacuum up. So, you know, again, Kirby's, they're a little bit costly, but they're a high quality machine and they do everything in the house but the dishes. So, so that's it. That is the Kirby, well, I was gonna say vacuum, but it's more than a vacuum, obviously. It's the complete Kirby cleaning system, okay? I don't feel right calling it just a vacuum, okay? Because it, it, it is that, it is a good, powerful vacuum that you can have for 20, 30, 40 years. But as you can see with what I just showed you, you, you really can do everything in the house. So it's a little more expensive than your normal vacuum, but it is a buy once, buy right kind of thing. And if you can get used to using the accessories on the Kirby, if you make, you know, if you make it a habit to, to learn how to use them, this will pay for itself in the long run, over and over again. I mean, considering that it's a, it's a good, good upright, it's a good canister, it's, you can do your floors with it, you can do your above the floor with it, both vacuuming and cleaning. It really is a complete clean. I don't hope I hope I did a little justice here in our in our in our video today. But um, if you have any questions, give us a call. Uh, we, you can't buy one from us online, but we can answer some questions for you. Um, or if you have an interest in the Kirby, or if you just want to know how to use your Kirby, just give us a call one 263 5425 That's our vacuum repair shop number. Or you can even text us one eight seven seven. VAC text, V A C T E X T, 1 877 822 8398. And we can text you videos or we can, we can answer your questions through text or through voice, whatever. Um, we're here to help you as the consumer. If it's a product you already have, we can help you use it. If it's a product you're looking to get, we can help you find the best deal on it and answer the questions as far as whether it's the right vacuum for you. Thanks for tuning in.